seeing him get his. I'll tell you, man. I, 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 I don't know. I don't. I, I, are people fucking trolling me at this point? People might be fucking trolling me at this point. Like, we have to respond to these dumb fucking comments down below. Do, did anybody watch my review last night? Or did they just hear, like, one part? Literally a two-hour and 28-minute review. And these comments are the dumbest shit ever. I, I, this video is all about responding to comments. And then I'm going to have another video. And then tonight's out of nowhere at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll see you for that. So this is in regards to my AEW review last night. I mean, we have to talk about this. By the way, I'm not burying anybody here. I'm just basically going over your comments. I might disagree with you and shit on you here if you hear this, but I like you still. Trust me. I'm just having some fun. I just disagree with some of your comments. I don't know. I mean, completely. Um, Sean Hummel says, Joe is tripping. The show's bonkers. Great. Seriously, dude. Not that you like Raw anymore, but this is legit 10 times better, and it's not even close. Okay? I mean, I agree with you. I agree. It is better. That's why I gave Raw this week a 3 out of 10, and AEW, I gave a 7.5 out of 10. Okay? I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. It's almost an 8. It's almost an 8 out of 10. The, uh... The, the the whatever the little rhino guy versus Dean uh, John Moxley that was a pretty good match I thought it was a nice little seven or eight out of ten match it was a good little wrestling match seven point five out of ten the women was terrible the tag team uh, match wasn't that good whatever like uh, Cody Rhodes had a great cage match I give it a nine out of ten for cage matches so good um, there was other things that were a little bit good and other things a little bit bad I mean how is this a nine or ten out of ten show people are are ridiculous. So I'm tripping. What? Because I gave it a 7.5 out of 10, I'm tripping? What the fuck? What did you want me to give it? A 3? You want me to give it an 8, 9, 10? I mean, what do you want me to do? What's a 9 or a 10? If this is if this is a if this is a 9 or a 10, what's what the hell? Where else do you go from here? My God. I think the show was a big thumbs up. Anything above a six is a thumbs up from me. Anything above a six is a thumbs up. I mean, I gave it a 7.5. It's a it's a really nice show. With some other pro with some problems, it wasn't a complete show. Um. Anyway, whatever. There's that one. That's stupid. But uh, Sean, sorry, bro, but that's stupid. Um. Let me see what else we got. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Uh, Justin Williams. Joe is starting to sound like Jim Cornette when he does his podcast. Please don't go down that road. LOL. <laughs> Solid eight out of ten show. Oh, yes, I'm crazy. You're not. Solid 8 out of 10. I gave it a 7.5, you fucking idiot! How the fuck am I going down Jim Cornette roads if I gave it a 7.5 and you gave it an 8? You disagree with me by .5? And I'll give you the 8 because it was pretty good. What the fuck is going down Jim Cornette roads? If I was going down Jim Cornette roads, I would have given it a fucking two or three or four. I gave it a fucking 7.5. Did you even listen to the video? Jesus Christ, Justin Williams. Does anyone listen to the fucking review or do they just write shit? Do they just write shit down? I'm going to write shit down now because I'm a fucking insane person. Going down Jim Cornette roads? the fuck we were all, you were literally off by 0.5 so maybe you're going down Jim Cornette roads too then I think you're going down didn't listen to the fucking podcast before you commented road which is a retard road to go down god damn it Jeff Cobb was better than Matanza in Lucha Underground uh, or as Matanza. Yeah, I agree. I mean, because I actually knew that what that guy was. I didn't even know what was going on here. God damn, I'm going to freak the fuck out from these stupid comments. There's a lot of good comments, too, but there are some dumb fucking people. And some people I like that I that are dumb. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you guys. By the way, become a patron. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show and keep me going. Hit that like button down below. Ugh. And if you can, watch the commercials, goddammit. Click the commercials, watch the commercials, do whatever you can. 
Dwayne Crisp. I like the guy. But he says, Joe predictability, Joe, predictability in wrestling is called storytelling. Nine times out of ten wrestling, you know where they're going. It's the journey that's the fun part. You complain you knew the outcome, but if the Dark Order won the Battle Royal, you'd just complain, just saying. I never wanted the Dark Order to win the Royal, the Battle Royal. I don't care who wins the Battle Royal. I never said I wanted the Dark Order to win. In fact, if it was my choice, Dark Order wouldn't even be in the company because they suck. So the Dark Order sucks. Why would the Dark Order win the Rumble? I never even said I cared who won the Rumble. So you're wrong. It doesn't, even though you know what's going to happen, it doesn't matter what happens. It's the journey that matters. I agree with you. So what are you saying? I agree with you, Dwayne. Where did I complain about the Young Bucks winning the Rumble? I don't give a shit who wins. Where in my video did I say the fucking Young Bucks didn't fucking shouldn't have won the Rumble? Please tell me timestamp the fucking thing. Where did I say it? I didn't fucking say it. I didn't say that. I don't care if the Young Bucks win. I don't care. I never said that. You know what I do care about? The Rumble wasn't that good. <laughs> it wasn't that good. That's the problem. So, yes, I agree with you. It doesn't matter who wins. It The destination matters. I agree with you. So you're actually right. If the Dark Order had won, I would have still complained. You're right. Because the match wasn't that good. That's what I was saying. The best thing about the match was that crazy super kick at the end. And the Young Bucks looked pretty convincing. The second half of the Rumble was pretty good. The first half of the Rumble, I did not like. The Battle Royal. We should be calling it Battle Royal. It's not the Royal Rumble. It's a Battle Royal. It's a tag team Battle Royal. My God, man. You guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are people brain dead? Are they even listening to my review? Do you even listen to the review? Did you even listen to my review before commenting? I don't think you did. I, I'm like re-reviewing the show after saying, I already said this, but I'm saying it again. Is, is there, like, autism everywhere? Like, what is going on? What, are, what the fuck are people hearing? What are people hearing? Am I, maybe I did say that. Did I say did I get abducted and say a bunch of crazy shit last night? The Battle Royal wasn't that good. I thought it was a... I, I thought it was okay. I thought it was, like, all right, 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10. I've seen better. Whatever. 6 out of 10. It didn't matter who won the fucking Battle Royal. I did make mention that this allows them to skip over people who have the best tag team records, right? So instead of having to, oh, the, the best tag team record faces the tag team champions, this is a way to get out of that and do something on the side, which I said in the review I like because you don't want just to have the top teams always facing. Once in a while, there could be some a feud or there could be something else that goes on. I like it. Overall, I give the Battle Royal... A thumbs up. Overall, I give it a thumbs up. Should I start doing that? Is the numbers, is that, what, is that what's fucking with some of you? 30% of you are fucked. Is that what's fucking with you? Is it the numbers? Like, I start saying like 7 out of 10 and you go, oh my god, man! Like, maybe it's just like thumbs up. So, so like, like super thumbs up, like, I don't know what the fuck did, what kind of fucking grading system, should I go into the Meltzer stars or something? What do I need to fucking do? Battle Royal, 7 out of 10, thumbs up, or uh, let's go 6.5, 6.5 out of 10, Battle Royal, thumbs up, it was all right, it was okay, Orange Cassidy, that was good, does that help you? What the fuck, dude? What are you saying here? Joe, predictability in wrestling is called storytelling. What? Joe, predictability in wrestling is called storytelling? What the fuck does that mean? No, storytelling is called storytelling. Stories sometimes are predictable, and sometimes they're completely shocking. What the fuck do you mean stories are... Pre what the fuck are you saying? Good God, man! What kind of fucking GED shit are we dealing with here? Nine times out of ten in wrestling, you know where they're going. It's the journey that's the fun part. I didn't know the Young Bucks were going to win. 
I mean, I I pick I did pick them to win. You're right. I did kind of think, oh, the Young Bucks probably going to win of everybody. But that didn't. I never made mention of that in the show. That oh, it was so stupid because the Young Bucks won. I didn't think that at all. I said it was all right. I don't care who wins. I wanted to see a good match, a good battle royal. I didn't get a really good one. I got a good one. I got an okay little battle royal. Start the show. Okay. It was fun. Hell of a super kick on Sammy Guevara afterwards. That was so fun. But God, what are you talking about? What the fuck are people talking about? Good God, man. Am I, am I on planet psycho? Oh, my God. All right, I got to search for another dumb one. I'm only going through dumb ones. A lot of you guys made great comments, but... Oh, man. Um, is there any other stupid things that are going to trigger me here? Let's see. Nope. I guess that was it. There was just a lot of that in the chat. Some of the people, we even got, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, don't be offended if I picked apart your comment. Maybe you didn't even write something the right way or something. I don't know. But I just felt like having fun and ranting on it. So I'm not even mad at you for real, man. I appreciate the comments. In fact, I like when people disagree with me. Uh, the idea that you guys disagree with me in many things, I love it. And I like the idea that I think that some of you misunderstood what I was saying. So I, I like the idea that you said something because then I was maybe able to clarify it for you here. However, if you believe I'm contradicting something or I was unclear in my review, um, then potentially maybe you could timestamp that and say, Joe, no, look at what you said here. This is why I think this. And Or maybe you heard Jake say something and you thought it was me. That's happened too before where someone's like, Joe, what the fuck with this? And I'm like, well, Jake said that. I didn't say that. And they're like, oh. And it's like, well... <laughs> I mean, and then sometimes whatever, vice versa. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to rant on that because I just saw those comments and my, my brain started hemorrhaging and my my insides wanted to explode into oblivion. And unlike Jim Cornette, I'm not going to block you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jim Cornette would have blocked half the comment section down below. Goodbye. See you later. I didn't need you. If you're a Trump supporter, die. But no, I'm not I'm not um Jim Cornette. So we can uh, now... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, tonight is out of nowhere at 11 p.m. Eastern time here on the Joe Cronin Show. I hope to see you guys there tonight live. I will take phone calls at some point. Me and Jake will be there. We're going to try to hit up Discord. Leave a comment down below on this video if you have some kind of insight into why you think there was this weird miscommunication of what I was trying to say last night. I mean, I don't know, man. In two and a half hours, I was, I was probably... I think that last night, I will say this, I think last night on the review, I really think we focused a little too much on the negative. I really do think we did do that. And that may be where some of this is coming from. I think that we should have spent 70% of the time talking about the good stuff and the cage match and Cody and where things are going to go and how that built up and Moxley and how can Jeff Cobb be used and where are these things. And I think we spent probably 70% of the show going after the negatives and only 30% talking about the positives when we actually liked the show and gave it a thumbs up for the most part. So maybe that is the situ that's the problem maybe. I think that might be the problem. And if that's the case then I am at fault for that. I fucked up. I should have done a better job of conveying the good stuff and then getting into the bad stuff and then coming back to the good stuff and then that's the review. But instead I think we did harp on some of the negative stuff, maybe too long or just whatever, because there is a perception that it was negative, but it's not. It's not even close. We were just really picking apart the negative is what happened. Um, I still think the women's division stuff was horrible, obviously. Statlander and Nyla Rose's weird promo in the back stuff. Um, I thought Cobb and Moxley was an okay 7 out of 10 match again. I sort of liked how it built up like a classic wrestling match in many ways. Never really the biggest fan of Moxley, but I like his intensity and his brawler uh, aspects. My favorite thing Moxley's ever done is that Kenny Omega match. Um, and my favorite thing that Kenny Omega's ever done in AEW is that After Dark or Dark show with uh, in Boston from the second show with uh, Joey Janela, which I saw in person. It's a really fun match. Um, but yeah, that's about it for right now. I'm going to be uploading my rant on Statlander in a minute with her stupid E.T. thing. Um, and um, yeah, man, that that's really it, man. But yeah, I'm sorry. I will try to be a little more positive when it comes to stuff. 
I don't know why, but yeah, we were focused on we were focused heavily on the negative for some reason, um, which you know I think that I think that was a mistake on my part. Um, but those things in the comment section were I still were wrong. You know, what I mean, like I don't think that at all. But maybe I conveyed it wrong. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments again. We'll have a little uh, discussion. It's a lot of fun. I also like to flip out sometimes to just entertain the shit out of you guys and make you go, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? Um, so hopefully uh, I accomplished that. Love you all. Thank you very much. And I'll see you with more a little bit later. Hit me up on Twitter at Corrupted Pod. On Twitter, that's Corrupted P-O-D on Twitter. I have to. That is sort of my name. I'm banned for life on Twitter, but whatever. Instagram.com slash Joe Cronin show. I go live on Instagram sometimes. Check me out there. I post my family stuff there too a little bit. So it's kind of a mix of my family life and then the Joe Cronin stuff. So it's kind of weird, but you know, I fuck it. If you want to stalk me, uh, Instagram is the way to go. Joe Cronin show. Uh, Facebook.com slash Joe Cronin show. Give a like, leave a like, follow me on Facebook. And uh, definitely check out our Patreon, man. I just uploaded a rant about Dunkin' Donuts and, um, this fucking weird repair guy that I saw today. Uh, Cronin Speaks. It's up on Patreon. All right. Here's some of the videos you might have missed. Check it out. I also uploaded the new trailer, JCS trailer. I'm sorry I did that earlier. I know it was annoying to get an upload. And it's only a minute long of a trailer, but I had to get it up there so it could be a promo and you have to make it public. So sorry about that. But um, hopefully you do give it a like and a, and a view um, and check out these other videos. I'll see you. I'll see you tonight.